hi everyone it has been a while since i've done a video so i'm just always so busy here decorating and and getting all, everything all set up so some of the projects i do and i just don't really get the opportunity to hop on here and show you guys this is a quick and easy one and something I think you might be able to incorporate into your decor for this holiday season. Um, so these are new for me this year. I purchased these kind of twig cones from Terrain. They also had lit options, but those weren't available to ship. So I went ahead and wanted to improvise. I'll show you where I'm placing them out front. It'll be going behind the two reindeer that I have at the front of our path. So I wanted something a little taller and a little bit more sparkly there by the reindeer to kind of frame the uh, steps to the porch. So what I did was I am not a huge fan of LED lights when I have to wrap them. Um, it's just, it just can be such a, a pain. And I love the soft natural glow of the incandescence. So I went ahead and I purchased these ribbon net lights from Home Depot. And I will take these out of the box to show you what they look like. So as you can see, it's very much like those net lights that you can get in your, for your shrubs. I actually have those in our front shrubs, but it's more narrow. So I'm going to actually use this in some of my other shrubs and topiaries I have as well. I picked up a few sets. But what's great is I'm just gonna fold this in half, literally just fold it in half, and then I attached it to the top here with paddle wire. So I just folded this in half, fed it up through the bottom of the cone, and then attached it at the top. And I'll be placing these on top of a small obelisk I already have in a pot. So I want to make sure I can go up into the center. I mean, you can attach these in any which way you want. My whole thing is I did not want to wrap, you know, this. that's the nice part about fairy lights. They're skinny and on those little metal uh, wires, but they're kind of hard to deal with. I love the look of these, but then you've got this big green bulk. So I'm gonna hide that by putting it on the interior of the cone. So I'm gonna go ahead and just feed this one up and attach it in the top there. I'm sort of cracking up over here about how short and simple this video is gonna be. So I just swooped a piece of paddle wire up through these. Like I said, it was folded in half. It's just a long ribbon style net and just twisted it off and attached it here so that they don't fall down. And I'm gonna put these on the out front right now. You won't get the full effect because obviously it's daytime right now, but I'll go back out in the evening and film a little shot before I put this quick little tip up. I've never done anything like this with cones and lights. So I hope maybe you guys will enjoy this. I mean, it's so easy. It's almost silly. But if I don't share these things, then I'm missing out on sharing anything with you guys because this is the kind of stuff that is going on over here, be it big or small. Okay, so I'm gonna get these out here. Look at these guys. I've got, well, listen, first of all, you know I love my little doormat insert. It goes underneath of my mat here. I got this about 15 years ago, and when you step on it, it plays Christmas carols, and I love it. But let me show you this doormat real quick. These just came from Colonial Williamsburg Company. They sent me a couple doormats. This one's out of stock, unfortunately, but they gifted me these, and I was super excited about it. This one is still in stock, home for the holidays. I'll link to this down below, and what's nice is proceeds from their sales go to support the Colonial Williamsburg Foundation. So you can read all about that. I'll put some information about that down below, but I love Colonial Williamsburg. Here's my porch, you guys. My mail. <laughs> um, everything isn't lit up right now, but when I come out to show you these later, I'll show you everything with the lights on. I think that would be nice. Okay, sorry, I just put the mail in. But don't you just love that? I wish they still made those musical mats. I managed to find one on eBay for my dad a couple years back, but let's plug these in. I don't think they're gonna do much for us right now. So you'll see, here's where I'm gonna put them on top of the cones that I keep here all the time. So let me just do that. I'm gonna put the phone down. I'm gonna set this on top and see what it looks like. 
I love it. It's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want to see a big gob of lights and it just sits so nicely on top here. I've got the ivy, that's live ivy that stays in there all year round. The terracotta pots are actually a composite and terracotta mix and I leave them out here all season long and they look perfect. See how that one, that's what it normally looks like but now it just gives it a lot more height and pizzazz for the holidays next to these large deer. And that's really all I'm going to do. Um, I have my container up top here that I just did some live greens. I do have to come out here and spray these. I like to use this wilt stop spray that I have used for a few years now that keeps the greens a little fresher. I'll link to that down below too. Anything I mention, if it's available, I will put a link to it. Just some faux berries and some mixed greens. I've got some gold pine cones and this is that copper wire fairy lights. These all plug in. I have plugs all along and at nighttime it's really kind of fiery and pretty looking. I didn't want to wrap the whole box wood. I think sometimes that can look kind of mashed up. I don't know. Tried something different this year but I'm going to put this other cone on. Kind of the same as last year. I did change one thing. I put a wreath in the center. It's kind of hard to see of the swag there. It's very windy today. Woo, as you can see. But we are all decorated and all set. I did a lot less on the steps this year with the containers. I really just wanted to be very simple and just have that one shine there with the two cones at the bottom. And honestly, I have a hard time putting money out for the fresh greens. I do have a couple uh, bundles here that I'm gonna work into some arrangements in the backyard on our window boxes, but it's just hard. Um, you know, if you're buying a living shrub, if you have access to them to clip from, oh gosh, you're so lucky. Um, so yeah, I don't have access to those kinds of greens. I wish I did, but purchasing them and then having to toss them is such a sad thing and they cost sometimes as much as some of the shrubs that are on sale so anyway I'm going to put the other cone out here I'll pop back out here in the evening and hopefully everything will look sparkly and twinkly okay I'm going to try just one more thing I found these little fairy jingle bells I might drape them on here just for a little extra sparkle let's see Oh yeah, just that little touch to the top there, I think took it to a whole new level. <laughs> no, I really like Jingle Bells and I think that that looked really pretty and it was in a big long pick that I just stuck down the top there. Okay, I actually think now before it gets too dark is really the prettiest and twinkliest time. So I just wanted to come out and show you I think I just walked around last year and I don't know if I actually said anything, but I have incandescent lights going up the boxwoods this year. And again, I use those little caps to hide the extras. I got those on Amazon. I could probably use a couple more, but it kind of helps with the separation when it's dark out. You don't see the lights just strewn across the ground there. And here's my two new cones that I worked on today. And I think they look just perfect. Just the perfect subtle accent here. A little height next to the reindeer. And I have the net lights in the bushes. I think five or six sets. Cords galore, cords everywhere. I've got my Frosty over here. We actually had to do a repair on his nose. His nose is made of burlap and it got all shredded up in our garage. I believe we may have had some mice activity in the garage. They may have made a nest out of Frosty's nose. So we hot glued some new burlap on there and it looks good. Let me come over this way. Doo -doo -doo. And he's all back in business. 
And last year was the first year that I added the wreaths to the front railings here. And I think that really adds such a nice touch. I'll link below to my initial decorating video if you've missed that. It'll cover what I used, how I plugged things in, how I kind of concealed some of the cords with the wreaths that are hanging in the windows. And you can see here how pretty that glow is in that top pot on the steps. I just took that copper fairy light and kind of just, you know, cr not crumpled it, but kind of crinkled it along in here and mixed in the pine cones. And I just think it looks so pretty. I love that it looks like it's glowing from underneath instead of being wrapped around. Just kind of a different cool look. And I think the cones are just perfect. I'm so happy with them. I put the same similar things you guys have seen a bunch. My little bunny here. I put a little sprig of greens on his lantern. And the porch, I just keep real whimsical. And kind of the same vibe. I mix up this little area and change it up a little bit. I really like it this year. I think it looks really cute. Just some moving flame candles and got my, this is the uh, one thing that is battery operated is the wreath and everything else plugs in. And my little musical doormat again, because I love it. <laughs> I did tie some jingle bells onto our swing this year, just for a little change on some ribbon here. Kind of pretty. I think we'll be hanging ornaments tonight. I gotta fix that cord. You see my cord is hanging down a little bit. Don't like that, so I'll tuck that in. But that's really it, you guys. Happy to share our Christmas and holiday home with you all. And thank you all for watching. You guys have been so supportive and just uh, make, make my day so happy. So I really appreciate you all. And I hope you have happy, healthy holidays.